Hello, my dear friends. Brisky here. Do you bring out a newsletter in your school? Let us explore how different students contribute to the newsletter in their school and improve their communication skills. Welcome to the newsroom at Rainbow International School. These five children are responsible for bringing out their monthly school newsletter, the Rainbow Reader. Every child on the editorial team has a different task to do. Come along, see what they do and help them out. Raghu has to write a report on an incident that took place in school the previous week. Take a look at the pictures to see what happened. Are you able to figure out what happened? Pair up your classmate and write a report on the incident in 100 words. Remember to give a headline for it. Remember, a headline must be crisp and to the point. This is what Raghu wrote in his article. Compare it with your own and see if you covered all the facts. Whenever you write a report for a newspaper, make sure it is clear, simple and covers all the important points that need to be included. A simple method to ensure that you don't miss out any detail is the 5 W's 1 H technique. This is to check if the report answers the following questions. What? Why? Where? When? Who and how? Did you enjoy writing a newsletter report? Now it's time to help Sheila write an advertisement. The school canteen has recently added a new item to their menu, a health drink. Take a look at the ingredients needed to make the drink and write an advertisement for the newsletter announcing the launch of the drink. The advertisement should contain the name of the new drink, a brief description to it and the benefits of drinking it. This is what Sheila came up with. As you can see, an advertisement for a new product has to contain important information such as its name, what it is made of, benefits of using it or consuming it, what it costs and where one can buy it, all in one crisp ad. Felix is in charge of the sports pages of the newsletter. He has taken a lovely picture of the winning moment in last week's football game. Now he needs to come up with a caption for it. A caption is a short phrase or a sentence that describes a photograph. Come up with your own caption for this photograph. This is the caption that Felix came up with. Captions for photographs have to be short and catchy. They should tell the reader about the photo in just a few words. Asha is the editor of the newsletter. She has to read all articles thoroughly, check the facts and correct any errors. Let us see what she is working on. Asha has found three articles which have errors in them. Can you spot the errors? Could you spot the errors or information that is missing? This is what Asha found. In the first article, she found that it was not mentioned what kind of animal the furry friend was. It could have been a cat or a dog. In the second article, she found that the picture was of the red fort, but the caption read Taj Mahal. In the last article, it was mentioned that the sale was on Sunday, but it did not say where the sale was. Hope you managed to spot all the errors or information that is missing. So you see, Anyone can write as long as they stick to the basic rules. Write clear, simple sentences and make sure your idea comes across.